What is up everybody? It's Treep from Dream Talks here and today what we have is the third part of the Jaguars All-25 Treep Edition. I thought today was the best day, if any, to drop this video because of what Fred Taylor said on social media about how the Jags ranked him. They ranked him at number two on the All-25 Jaguars list and he was upset about that because they're try he, he feels that they're just trying to get Tony Baselli into the Hall of Fame, and they're not doing Fred Taylor any justice, which I'd agree with. I'd say, I'd say that seems a little bit true. Now, will Fred Taylor be number one on my list, or will it be Tony Baselli, or will it be somebody else? You guys are going to have to wait and see for that one, because today we are doing numbers 15 through number 10, ladies and gentlemen. And before we get into this video, drop a like down below if you think Fred Taylor is the best running back in Jaguar history or just the best player in Jaguar history. Make sure you leave a like if that is your thoughts. Also, make sure you comment down below what your opinion is on this Fred Taylor situation and hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jags All-25 Tree Edition, number 15 through number 10. Number 15, Mercedes Lewis. Now, originally, I had Mercedes Lewis significantly higher on the list. Like, I'm talking top 10, like number 8. And it's not necessarily his play that was the reason I put him that high. Not to say he was a bad tight end. In my opinion, he's the best tight end in Jaguar history, and I don't think there's much debate to be had. But Mercedes Lewis done seen it all with us. And he was there for, like, the bad of the bad. Like, he had significantly worse seasons than good seasons in Jacksonville. And he could have just said when one of his contracts was up, Hey, I'm good. I want to go play for a winning team. I don't want to be here. But what did he do? He stayed in Jacksonville. Like, he was a loyal ass member of the franchise. And I think that alone should give him a spot on the list. But his play does speak for itself as well. You know, in his early stages in his career, from his rookie year till about 2008, 2009, he was one of the league's best tight ends, in my opinion. He would dominate in the pass game and as well as uh, run blocking. He was good at both. He was a do-it-all tight end, one of the last of a dying breed that, you know, it seems like more guys today are either just run blocking tight ends purely or pass catching tight ends purely. Mercedes Lewis is probably the last true blocking receiving tight end in the league and it's sad to see that breed go but it's a fact and Mercedes Lewis definitely earns a spot on the list do you think he should have been higher let me know in the comments down below number 14 Marcus Stroud Marcus Stroud is another guy that I didn't personally grow up watching um in my era I did you know of course we'll get some highlights some film some tape of Marcus Stroud and he definitely was one of the best Jaguars defensive linemen of all time but the Jags have always had pretty solid defensive linemen and there are a couple that I think are better than him and that deserve to be higher on the list and unfortunately out of all the great defensive linemen I cannot talk today of all the great defensive linemen the Jags have had unfortunately he's probably gonna come in the let me see did I say any other defensive linemen no uh oh yeah I did I said one more defensive lineman but he comes in the second lowest out of the Jaguars you know great defensive lineman that they've had and I think that's fair you guys might disagree you might have grown up watching him and just loved him to death and you think that he is the best defensive lineman that the Jaguars have ever had but in my opinion I think there's three four guys that are better than them and I think that speaks volume to how good the Jaguars defensive line is year in and year out but no doubt about it he definitely deserves a spot on this list and that's why we gave it to him Number 13, John Henderson. Now here's a defensive lineman I ended up ranking higher than Marcus Stroud. John Henderson, one of the most exciting big personalities in Jaguar history. I remember when I first started watching the Jags, I fell in love with this guy, and then it ended up being his last season and he was gone. I'll never forget when I started to get into football, my dad showed me the video of him getting slapped in the face before a video, and then that video became probably one of the more iconic NFL memes, you know, videos that you see out there. You know, you can still find it. You know what video I'm talking about when John Henderson just gets slapped in the face pregame ritual. The guy dominated, he feasted in the run game, and he did do well in uh, the pass as well, you know, pass rushing. He definitely was very solid at that, and he was also very solid against the run, and he's one of the best defensive linemen that the Jaguars ever had. And he's definitely a fan favorite as well, so if his stats on the field don't get him on this list, I think him just being an overall fan favorite definitely does get him on the list, and I think that Mr. John Henderson deserves a spot, and he deserves to be right where he is. Number 12, Donovan Darius. Now this is a guy that is 
you know, if you look at an old Jaguar team and you have to think about each position and who is the best at their position, there's some guys that there's a debate for. You know, you got the running back position. Some people are Maurice Jones, Drew guys. Some people are Fred Taylor guys. I think it really depends on what era you ended up growing up watching those two guys play. But one position that is definitely a sealer and a for sure lock is the safety position, and that is held down by Mr. Donovan Darius. Donovan Darius had one season with four picks and one season with five picks, and that was already when he was an eight-year veteran. Every year he average, every year he had more. I'm telling y'all, I cannot talk today. Every year he had more than 70 tackles. This is a guy that year in and year out would perform for the Jacksonville Jaguars. It was a key part of their secondary. And you know when he left, the Jags felt it. The Jags didn't have another solid safety for a long, long time. I mean, the year Barry Church and Tashawn Gibson were there was probably the closest we've been to having solid safety since. You know we've had guys like Jonathan Cyprian. Jonathan Cyprian, one of my most hated football players in the league, mostly because he sucked for us, and then he went to Tennessee, and it gives me more reason to hate him. You know, we had to suffer through that, and there's just, there's some no-namers along the way, but, you know, we had Barry Church to Sean that year, and then hopefully now Jared Wilson and Ronnie Harrison could maybe live up to that hype, but as of now, there's no doubt who the best safety of all time is in Jaguar history, and that man's name is Donovan Darius. Number 11, Josh Scobie. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why Josh Scobie is not this high on the list. Tell me why he shouldn't be. All-time Jaguar point leader. Barely missed a field goal. Part of one of the most memorable Jaguar moments of all time, hitting his career long to beat the Colts, a team that at the time we barely ever beat. You know, I think until then, like, that was the first time we beat the Colts since, like, 06, and I think at the time it was, like, 2011 I mean you could fact check me on that but it's been a while since we beat Payne Manning and the Colts and Josh Scobie was responsible for that there moment Josh Scobie is also a huge part of the Jaguar community still to this day and he's a fan favorite that and you know that's the three things that I I ranked these guys off of it was play on the field fan favorite and what they have done for the community and a guy like Josh Scobie who is still involved in everything Jacksonville he's a fan you know off the field he loves the Jaguars and he's the career point leader uh for the Jaguars so you know there's no argument to be made why Josh Scobie should not be here at number 11 in fact there should be an argument on why he's not higher on the list why I didn't put Josh Scobie in at top 10 that's because there's a couple of guys in the top 10 that deserve it a lot. You know, there are guys out there that need to be in the top 10 that need to be in there. They have to, have to be in there. And unfortunately, I couldn't put Josh Gobi in there, but I think a fair number 11 is more than fair for the all-time point score in Jaguar history. And that was my old Jaguars all-25 team numbers 15 through 11. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Dream Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Say it with me. Dems are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.